you want to make sure you hit ball turf. So the very first motion will be a shoulder tilt. And down the line it will look like this. Now you don't necessarily need your arms way up here because that might be a little too steep. Chunky divots for this shot don't work. So just like the second tilt as they suggest you swing your arms in. A one plate swing motion. Jim Hardy. So set your weight on your left side. Swing your arms in and tilt your shoulders down. Now one of the key things to all golf shots is making sure you turn through and your arms come down next to your right side. In a one plane swing, stack and tilt swing, the right arm comes down next to the right side. So this seam on my sweatshirt, my elbow is going to be right next to it. Now how does the club get up to the golf ball from there? Well it's simple. You turn. So if you set your weight on your left side, the center of your body, right here the spine, it's more on top of the ball, belt through your sternum up to your chin. No tilt necessary. Little shoulder tilt this way. Swing your hands down to the right side and just turn through. And there's that ball turf contact that we're looking for. So again, great, great shot to practice to get all the key motions of the full swing. Impact. Pitching is that shot that'll separate the men from the boys and it'll lower your scores tremendously. Fascinating to me. One of the best pitches of the game was Ben Hogan. Makes sense. He was one of the best ball strikers, too. What did Ben Hogan do in his golf swing that made him so good? And what did he do in his pitch shot? Well, he which was a one-plane, kind of stack-and-tilt style swing, or at least the right side swing, I would say. I'm not sure how much Hogan loaded down on his left side, but those old pictures of him, the left knee's pointing out, right leg's much straighter, and the hands definitely, the arms came in. There's a flat one point swing and he didn't move off the ball very much, at least with his irons, because if he did, he'd be playing more like baseball. He needs some shoulder tilt. You especially need so some sh shoulder tilt for this pitch shot. That's key motion. Now, one of the mistakes I see a lot of high handicappers make with pitching is they try to swing too much with their arms coming back to the ball and running up with their body. If I just set my hand here next to my hip and I spring and release my torso towards the target, that brings my arms back into the hitting area. The only thing left is I just let my right elbow unfold a little bit. So if I make that motion right there, that little rotation, release of my torso and my legs, and this motion with my right elbow, both of them put together, I get that clean hit on the golf ball. Less wrists. It's just the rotation. Less wrists, just rotate.